I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you're probably not watching this on a Tuesday, but it is Taco Tuesday. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall victory number 1203, and I'm most pumped up because I am back in the amazing, beautiful, and somewhat rainy this time of year, the country of the Netherlands. We've got lots of people here. I've never actually done a restaurant food challenge in the greater Amsterdam area, but big thank you to my friends, Jim and Mike. They've been watching the channels for a while. Uh, we're here at Mas Mais, uh, Taqueria. Mas Mais means more corn. We've got so many people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> Katina and I are here helping them kick off their brand new double menu food challenge. So as that says, uh, we've got the menu. We actually have to eat through it twice. Uh, it's a pretty simple menu, obviously. Uh, they've got six different tacos. One order is equal to two tacos. Their appetizer, uh, you can have any appetizer or starter you want, as long as you like chili quiles. And then you can have any desserts you want too, as long as you like double caramel flan. So I'm gonna go through the tacos right now. Uh, we've got to eat through the entire menu twice. So 24 tacos total. But we've got their pumpkin, which is their signature taco. We've also got their chorizo. And then right here, I'm excited for that one. This is chicken tinga or tinga de pollo. Uh, so that is gonna be great, of course, with corn. Uh, I've never had anything like this before. It is their king oyster quesadilla. And then I know right here, we've got their beef barbacoa. So I've got that. And then I missed one. This here is their mole terrain. Uh, mole, I think, means black bean is what uh, Katina said. And then, like I said, for dessert, uh, we've got their double caramel flan, which is gonna go right down, I think. We got two of those. And then the appetizer right here, the chili quiles. So yeah, that is the base challenge. I'll talk about these cocktails as I go. I've got just 45 minutes to finish everything here. If I fail, it is gonna be 180 euros. So I do not wanna do that. Uh, if I do win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt, a Mas Mais t-shirt, and I will be up on their wall of fame. So are you guys all ready? Yeah. All right, let's get this going started. <laughs> all right, let's shut up and eat and dominate. I think we're gonna start off with some of these beef barbacoa tacos and work our way around. So, all right, one, two, three, boom, all right. Uh, let's get, put some of this stuff on. Thankfully, these only have one tortilla a piece. Mm. Yeah. I took too long. The sauce is like coagulated and it's a salad now. Let's move this up. It looks friggin' huge and uh, voluminous is a word Katina uses often. Voluminous? Yes. Voluminous. But uh, they're actually pretty light. I was about to say they made this one less spicy on me, but now it's hitting me. That is very good. Got a big food challenge going on. We're two minutes and 35 seconds in. All of these tacos have like a quarter of lime each. The pork carnitas is friggin' delicious. Now we are on to the chicken tinga or tinga de pollo. This is served on a tostada, and that just reminds me that Taco Bell got rid of their tostadas, which is really frustrating, but I am sure this is gonna be much better. Uh, all gourmet. I think this is the one with the crema sauce. That is freaking delightful. I've got some healthy vegetables with this. I think I'm just gonna take a shot. A shot to health and wellness. Yes, yes. Mm. Those are just pickled healthy vegetables, but okay. King oyster quesadilla, uh, let's do it. There's some salsa here, I'll use that. All right, not real oysters or seafood oysters, uh, mushrooms, they're very good. Are they psychedelic? No. We're 
we're not halfway through yet. I still have these two tacos, the mole terrain, which has black beans and then a, a big old hard loaded potato on it with uh, red onions, pickled red onions. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you're probably not watching this on a Tuesday, but it is Taco Tuesday. This was filmed back on Tuesday, August 8th. They do serve a lot of tacos here, as you know, obviously that's pretty much what the menu is. We are reloaded on water, let's finish this tray. All right, everything's going well. We're nine minutes and 58 seconds in, so we still have loads of time. Uh, these are optional. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of cocktails here too at Mas Mai's, uh, but I am gonna start over. This is a Smoky Paloma. Of course, Pinky's up. I'm not exactly sure what a Paloma is, but it's one of their signature cocktails and it is delicious. I am gonna get rid of it not get rid of, I'm gonna finish their uh, oyster mushroom tacos. These were very good, but I do wanna eat them before they cool down any further. Twelve and a half minutes, all right. Uh, I'm gonna do the pumpkin ones before they cool off any further as well. Pumpkin, very good, but it's exceptional when you eat it right off to, uh, fresh off the, uh, from the kitchen. Now it's time for the chicken tinga. This is unfortunately our only challenge in the Netherlands of this trip, and a couple families drove from hours around to be here uh, and meet Katina and I while in the Amsterdam area, which is awesome and much appreciated. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the uh, finish off the mole terrenis. All right, that is done. We'll leave no doubt and finish the line. We are 19 minutes and four seconds in. Oh, this is a lot of food, more than three kilos. All right, this is the beef barbacoa. We're 22 minutes and 40 seconds in now. So 45 minute time limit, we're all right. Uh, I am going to finish off the last two tacos, uh, which only two left, which means we are done with 22. I'm really struggling to figure out which one I like the most, but I am also happy to be done with them. Oh, all right. Appreciate all the support. We are done with all 24 tacos. Uh, I am 37 now. My knees are not like they used to be. So we are just gonna sit, oh wow, oh. We are gonna have a dessert before we start the chilaquiles. I'm sure I've had flan before, but I can't say I remember. So this is loaded with caramel, let's enjoy. This moves like my belly before Sex Vacation 2023, starting in less than two weeks. Let's confuse my stomach a little more, move over to the margarita. I was gonna avoid the margarita just because of too many calories. I'm on a diet here, but uh, they wanted me to show it off 
uh, as one of the main cocktails they serve here. Ooh, yeah, that is good. Okay. I actually love chilaquiles, so I'm not really sure why I chose this strategy, but ooh, we still have 17 minutes to do this. Let's get to it. This is two orders of chilaquiles served on one platter. So if you try this, do this as an actual starter. Still very good, but it'd be a lot more enjoyable at the beginning. corn tortillas. I'm just going to finish off the last bits and the healthy vegetables. I really don't think I want to do this after the flan. So let's finish off this margarita. This was not a cocktail menu uh, challenge. They've got like 12, I think, cocktails on the menu, but they've got the smoky Paloma and this margarita as two of the two signature ones. Yeah. Mm, get some electrolytes. Ah, now dessert. Still got plenty of time to get the wreck. Kudos to the team here at Mas Mais. Uh, the owners, Jim and Mike, they actually met back in university. Not to call them old, but it was a while ago. And uh, they've been friends a long time and they started this place right in West Amsterdam, right along the canal. So very good to be here to help them kick off their challenge. Thank you guys. what my favorite thing was as part of that challenge. Definitely would have loved the chilaquiles uh, if I had started eating them earlier, but either way, I uh, even cooled off. They were very good. Uh, I do have the new record time here at Mas Mais. It is 37 minutes and 40 seconds. So I did just dominate their double menu food challenge. Ooh, a delicious, simple menu that they are very good at uh, here at Mas Mais. Uh, if I had to pick my favorites, I would say all of those were great. So if you're ever around the West Amsterdam area, get here to Mas Mais along the canals for one of their tacos, their chilaquiles, even just come here to drink. It's a great experience here. So for me, it was overall victory number 1,203, the only one of this trip in the amazing country of Holland or the Netherlands. So thanks to you guys all for coming out while here. Katina and I hop on the train and head to Western Germany uh, tomorrow to do uh, maybe two or three challenges total around Dusseldorf, Cologne, and Frankfurt. But those videos will be next. If you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. I know you will love both of those, but either way, I'll catch you in the next video, when before you begin, which is what I did today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.